Peace be with you, Millbrook. The last week or so has brought uh, a lot of difficult experiences, painful and tragic experiences to our community with the shooting in the Headingham neighborhood. As a church, we want to respond. We want to respond to individual needs and to the needs of our community. We're in the process of planning a worship service, a prayer service that will take place on Sunday, November the 6th at 5.30 here in our sanctuary for anyone who is impacted in any kind of personal way, uh, whether you live in the Headingham neighborhood. I know we have members of our church whose house was part of the search. Uh, we have people that grew up with some of the victims. We have, um, the impact is wide and deep. So whoever you are, even if it's just something that you care deeply about, um, then we invite you to come. And please invite anyone who you might know for whom this time of prayer might be a comfort. Even in the worst of times, scripture has a word for us. And I hope that you are finding comfort in many things, um, including scripture. But I wanna commend uh, Psalm 34 to your attention, um, especially in this time, because I believe as the Psalms often do, it has something to speak to the myriad of human experience, uh, to faith and to response. In verse 18, it says, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. God is particularly close to those who grieve to mourn. When we weep, God weeps with us. So I pray that whatever it is that you're carrying, you will feel and experience that. And that prayer we can lift up for our neighbors that they will feel God's presence close to them, even in the most difficult time. And then verse 14 says, depart from evil and do good, seek peace and pursue it. I love that, seek peace and pursue it. It's very active, uh, depart from evil, do good, seek peace, pursue it. The more terrible events that happen in our world, the greater the call is for us as Christians to seek peace and pursue it. In response to some of these events, some of you feel called to advocate for gun reform and stricter gun laws or for mental health support. Some of you feel called just to pray more fervently. Some of you feel called to reach out uh, to neighbors in a new way, seeking peace and pursue it. Maybe there's a relationship that um, you need to seek peace in and pursue peace and reconciliation in that relationship. And we can always pursue peace in our own souls with our God. We live in a world that is precarious and our human life is, um, is fragile. And so we can, as we say in the funeral liturgy, to, that we may go forth as those unafraid to die because we have faith in God and we know and trust in the gift of eternal life. So in all things, God is with us. So whether it's Psalm 34 or prayer service or an act of um, advocacy or an act of uh, seeking peace in your own life or with your neighbors, that God will be with you and God will strengthen you.